and I was junior engineer there. So, but I left my job recently, and now I'm looking for another. the job business of what you know yeah actually first of all you should speak your name mm -hmm. but you didn't speak i think you just were think you were just thinking to tell me about your job and all but mm -hmm. you should actually uh, speak something about you like means i am so real and i am from this and uh, I completed my engineering like mm -hmm. that and I worked there for uh, three years. I am from that family. My father is this, my mother is this. I have got two brothers, sisters, whatever like this. Okay. Um, and uh, yes, like that. Okay. So it's okay, no problem. So. You have already spoken your uh, is about you, and I just told you how you should speak. So first thing that you write about you, write about yourself. Mm -hmm. this, this is your homework for next lesson. So write something about you, so you will have writing practice. So this is a topic for you to write it for next lesson. Not now, it's your homework. Okay. okay. And now, okay. <clears throat> and now, one more thing I want to tell you. Uh, every day you have to write 20 to 25 questions. means these questions may be from any topic like means about politics about you know medical science about any job about any disease about any food like suppose i ask you uh, why is it necessary for you to learn english it's a question you have to make questions uh, in that way to write at least 20 to 25 questions every day okay this is also a part of learning okay this is your homework this is common homework 20 to 25 questions you have to write every day okay now okay hmm so now let me know uh, let's bifurcate our uh, schedule means uh, you want to focus on speaking reading writing listening what means all the four parts but uh, what should be the ratio means uh, we have got um, 50 minutes so you may divide it yourself like means you want to talk to me for 25 minutes 10 minutes for grammar like this yeah it should be like that yeah yeah so uh, are you okay with 25 minutes for speaking yeah okay so we'll have speaking for 25 minutes of course we'll have more than that because we are talking always in English. 25 minutes and we are going to have 10 minutes for grammar okay every day we learn some grammar part okay hmm. and yeah. now remaining 35 minutes we'll have for checking your writing okay like means topic i'll give you every day so you will speak that topic so that is your uh, speaking part also and uh, writing also good. 
15 minutes for uh, for listening listening and writing okay so now you ask me anything anything about me how are you going? and be frank don't worry if you are don't think that you are going to commit mistake in speaking don't worry about it no i just want to know about uh, uh, first of all your students and from where they are like uh, when uh, they belongs to uh, another uh, another country also and for how long they are teaching uh, uh, how long studying with you uh -huh. okay. Hmm. okay you know i have i have been teaching online through skype for the last seven or eight years okay. because you know actually i started teaching in 2010 or 11 hmm. and uh, in the beginning actually I didn't know much about it that, and that was not my aim actually to get students from my country or from the from different countries that was not my aim actually it's a different story I'll tell you that later but first I want to tell you that I have got students from many countries like means I taught students from China, Japan, Korea, Taiwan, France, Philippines, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Means I have got many students from Pakistan. Means the, you can say very high gentry. I got from Pakistan. Very high gentry means like uh, uh, even one of the student was uh, one of my students was from their religious, you know, uh, he was their religious guru. And he used to speak on television in Pakistan. He was my student, some of the, you know, uh, vice chancellor and gynecologists, doctors from Pakistan. They were my students. And uh, of course, I have got students from India also. And uh, most of the time I have got students from Kerala and Andhra and uh, Karnataka, South part and sometimes uh, the second largest percentage from uh, NCI in Delhi, uh, Delhi, Noida, uh, I got many students from that part. I've got many students from Delhi, like uh, Panipat. They are from Panipat, but now they are in uh, Delhi. They are settled down in Delhi. One of uh, my student is Vijay Badwa. He is a very good businessman and he is quite young. He is just 31, 30, 31 year old. But he is very creative, very intelligent and he he is he has developed his business like developing videos and all. He has got a very good company in Delhi. He is very talented man actually. He is very rich actually, you know, and he has developed everything by himself. He has been my old student, and uh, so he he just. What he does actually, he takes 30 lessons and after uh, 30 lessons, he takes break for one month, for two months, for three months. Then he comes back again, sir, I want to begin again. Then he starts again. He does like this. Me, you can say he is my permanent student because he has got clients from foreign countries. So he doesn't want to lose his fluency whatever actually i don't know but 
he likes to have classes with me so he is from delhi and many students they are working in some you know mncs and all and they are also my students so i have got many students actually and they are from different communities different parts of the country and different parts of the world so it has been a very great experience for me to teach students even i have taught a student from somalia also yes okay so next question i am not getting your voice hello hello yes yes now it's so okay um uh, no i don't have more questions uh, okay. no problem i had one question only yeah. okay no problem from tomorrow you will write many questions like 20 to 25 questions okay uh, means i i have to write uh, uh, that 25 20 to 25 question and i have to ask you yes. about that yes and i'll answer uh, or we can do one thing you'll ask me a question and you'll answer yourself that question and if you commit any mistake okay. i'll tell you how you should answer that question so in that way you will you will improve your speaking or if you want me to answer i'll answer okay 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 so you ask me the question and you answer the question after that i'll answer the question mm -hmm. right okay. right so that you will do every day and now uh, the second uh, point uh, suppose you are going to speak about your daily routine mm -hmm. suppose first let's take that topic daily routine so i am going to tell you my daily routine first listen to me and then you will speak it yourself i am telling you my daily routine i get up every day or you can say i get up at 5 o'clock every day in the morning i finish my nature calls i finish my nature calls and i get ready and i go for a walk and i uh, i walk for 5 to 6 km every day and then i come back and i take exercise like i take exercise for my neck for my back for my stomach and uh, after that i take a cup of tea and i have you can say whatever it is it is not breakfast it is my lunch it is my lunch not breakfast actually i take my lunch at 8:30 or 9 and after that means i just switch on my computer and i check my emails skype request and all and act accordingly if i have to answer or if i have to talk to my students new students old students i do it and after that i take my classes if i have my classes sometimes i have one or two uh, two classes and i finish my classes and after that at 11 or 11:30 i go to take bath i take bath and then again i work on computer i look for some new topics for making a new video for uploading it to my youtube channel and i then record it i edit it means i am always busy in all these activities in my day time and if i get time then i take a nap for an hour you understand take a nap 
I take a nap. Nap means, you know, a, a short sleep in day. Understand? Short sleep. Yeah, means we sleep. Means when, when, uh, when we rest. Yes, we sleep for an hour or half an hour. Means short sleep. For short sleep in a daytime. That is called a nap. So I take a nap and then I get up at five, sometimes four, five, then I take a cup of tea. I don't take lunch then because I have already taken my lunch in the morning. If I feel hungry at four o'clock, little bit, then I take a plate full of salad and uh, a glass of, you know, that is what is called it is whey means uh, liquid curd yogurt matha jisko bolte matha Yo yogurt yeah lassi lassi namkeen but butter uh, not butter actually it is uh, you know matha jisko bolte ho aap haryana mein bolte ho matha peete matha yeah matha peete ho gaya aap yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I take that a glass of matta and a plate full of salad, that's all. And, uh, and then I take a cup of tea in the evening if I uh, want to have a cup of tea. After that means I again take classes as I am talking to you. And then I, I keep myself busy until 8 or 8.30. After that, I go again out of my home for some physical activity or something like that. And then I come back at, uh, at 9.30. And then I don't take dinner, I just take simple food like a uh, uh, bowl full of, you know, loki ki sabji, like that. Yeah. Or boiling, some, boiling vegetables. Yeah, and, uh, and you can say like uh, one bowl of dal. One bowl of dal. That I take and then I again work on computer. And then I go to bed at 11.30. This is my routine. So now you speak your daily routine. What do you do every okay, day? Then, uh, we, uh, I, I get up at around uh, uh, between about 5 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then I then I then I meditate for uh, around uh, 45 minutes to one hour, and after that uh, I I go for my cold nature and right right after that I I take part and it uh, and then uh, for one hour like uh, seven to uh, seven to eight. Uh, I usually uh, uh, do some uh, do some pranayama exercise. So for my uh, internal health and like uh, not always. Uh, I miss I miss for some time, uh, some days. But uh, usually I do this thing. And then after. After that, I take take some fruit like uh, pomegranate, papaya, mm -hmm. and it may it may anything. Uh, and it I take it around eight eight a.m. in the morning. Then I uh, like uh, after that uh, I I cook my breakfast. I cook my breakfast. Uh, it's eight to nine or nine thirty between. So 
so after that my brother take take breakfast around 9:30 uh, like 9 to 9:30 uh, then after that he take my breakfast at around 10 10 10 am hmm. after finishing my breakfast uh, i clean my room uh, i clean my room like uh, all the room uh, i clean my room and then i then i then i i do uh, i then after that i have uh, like uh, 8:30 to uh, so it it uh, uh, it 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 then we finish uh, around 11 11 even and after that uh, 11 to 12 and 1 and 2 to 3 hours actually i have so in between hours i uh, i do my daily uh, daily like uh, we can say uh, my official work or my house work and day type of work i usually do that uh, some if i have to call someone i call them and uh, like this works mm-hmm. so after doing that uh, uh, around day one uh, after that i I, I after that if I have to take if I have to take some lunch usually I don't take lunch uh, in the mo- in the after, uh, in the afternoon time uh, I take very small thing like uh, uh, some salads or uh, and some buttermilk like so after that uh, I take some rest. not i i never sleep uh, in the in the in the in the day time i never sleep i take some rest only for uh, an hour only uh, and after i get after i get uh, after i get up and uh, like uh, i i read some i read some books read some books or uh, you can say i i watch some videos on youtube for learning english and uh, it may another video uh, like some english movies with subtitles and so 2 3 hours i spend on that uh, like 4 uh, to 5 uh, uh, so after that uh, sometimes i take bath after 5 to 5:30 or but usually i i have to cook in the evening time so i after cooking uh, i take bath so at uh, i start it from uh, 6 5:30 to 6 uh, my cooking process then i cook food uh, i finish it around uh, 6:30 to uh, 6:45 so and i always eat my food around before before 7 pm i never eat after 7 pm it's uh, it may sometimes it can be sometimes i i eat sometimes after 7 but 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 usually i finish my uh, dinner at 7 so it's my habit and then after finishing my uh, dinner i i go for walking i daily go for walking for uh, half an hour and after that i came back to my come house back. come back uh, yeah yeah oh, sorry i come back to my house and then then uh, then again uh then again i uh, read some books and my other works like if uh, at around 7 or 7:30 uh, if i am not going to uh, first of all i have to go uh, i have to go for uh, buy some vegetables or some groceries and some other uh, other uh, things uh, so if i don't if i if i don't go for that 
uh, I go for walking so that uh, uh, so after 8 yeah, after 8 pm I read some books and watch some again that and uh, and I uh, at evening time and it may be afternoon or uh, at night also I I plan for my uh, further progress like some my own work or own business like that so I go for that and I plan for something so after that uh, I go go to sleep around uh, around around 10 30 around 10 30 and I wake up around 5 again so that is my okay so this is also end. your topic for writing and try to write <coughs> Uh, small sentences. We write first sentence, full stop. Small sentence, full stop. Small sentence, full stop. That is always the best way to be a better speaker. If you speak means uh, long sentences, and you are going to have a lot of pauses. So instead of that, speak small sentences. I get up at five o'clock in the morning. So this is a sentence. And second, I finish my nature calls. Third, I go for a walk. Next, I come back at seven. I prepare for my breakfast. Means step by step sentences. Small sentence, then second, then third, fourth like this. Okay, so write your topic in that way. Okay. This is always better way to improve write small sentences once you are expert you are an expert in making small sentences you can make uh, long sentences by combining uh, these small sentences together okay so do it so this is your topic you write yourself write something about yourself and daily routine and 25 questions now it is the time for us to have some grammar part. Okay. So before we go ahead, let's talk about some uh, imperative sentences. I know you may be knowing that. You know imperative sentences. Uh, actually, I. Uh, I think I have done before that, but I don't know right now. If you give me some examples, I... Yes, imperative sentences means suggestion, order, or request. Okay. But you use always verb first in imperative sentences. It means, you yeah, so suggest karte ho, you suggest someone to do something, or you order someone, or you request someone to do something so you always use first form of verb first like go there so you 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 always use first form of verb like go it is verb and then plus maybe object like go there go there this is an imperative sentence go there like come here sit down here but if it is a request please go there please sit down here but if it is negative we use don't go there don't sit here don't touch my mobile don't talk to me most of the time we use imperative sentences in our speaking like don't go there, don't take my towel, don't touch your hand, don't touch your dirty hands or don't wipe your dirty hands with my towel. Don't sit here, this is my chair. Like this, these are imperative, like open the door, lock the door, comb your hair. So I have got some of the sentences here. If you want to note down, I can just speak. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because these are very common. 
in present sentences. लाइक यू नो पंखा चालू करो वॉट डू यू स्पीक हाउ डू यू स्पीक पंखा चालू करो पंखा चालू करो को क्या बोलते हो आप Turn on the fan. No, no. Keep the fan. Uh, switch on the fan. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. So we always speak switch on the fan. Or switch off the fan. Switch on. I switch on. I said I switch on my computer. Switch on the light, switch on the fan, switch off the fan like this. Hmm. And then you know, tala lagao, darwaje ka tala lagao. Lock the door. Lock the door. Kholo. Open the door. Nahi, unlock the door. Unlock. Unlock karna apne door. Unlock the door. अच्छा दरवाजे की चक्कनी लगाओ लोग द डोर बोल्ट द डोर बोलते हैं उसको बोल्ट बोल्ट द डोर बोल्ट द डोर ओके चक्कनी लगा के बोल्ट द डोर Unbolt the door. Chakkani kholo. Chakkani kholo. Unbolt the door. You go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Just like when you use the stair. Go up. Get up. Get up. Go up stairs. Go up stairs. Go up stairs. Go up stairs. Come down stairs. Meet you. Nahalo. Take bath. Take bath. Ha. Khana khalo. Have your food. Take your food. Have take you can use either of these words no problem. Take your food, have your food. Brat rakho. Sorry. Brat rakho. Brat. Word. Brat. Brat rakhte na wo upvas karte ho jo. Yeah. Word. 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 Ha. पूरा दिन कुछ नहीं खाते ना लाइक ऑन योर फेस्टिवल लाइक डू यू सेलिब्रेट शिवरात्रि या वी सेलिब्रेट शिवरात्रि मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल दे ब्रत रखते ना वो शिवरात्रि वो फिर रात में ही खाते हैं खाना शिवरात्रि वो रात में खाते हैं कृष्ण जन्माष्टमी में रात में खाते हैं नो ऑन शिवरात्रि शिवरात्रि Eight four at night. Only one time at night. So what is that mean, sir? Observe fast, both of you. Can you write it? Yes, I am writing. Observe fast. Observe fast. Okay. Bal banao. बाल बना दे लाइक दिस मेक 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 योर हेयर हाँ डू योर हेयर या आप कह सकते या कॉम्ब योर हेयर 
do your hair comb comb your hair comb your acha baal kholo open your hair aap hi bol rahe hain but the person who has got long hair वो खोल सकता है बाल या तो कोई महिला या सरदार की खोल सकते तो ओपन नहीं अंडू योर हेयर हमेशा तो बोलते अंडू योर हेयर अंडू योर हेयर ठीक है उसके बाद आइए लाइक अपनी नाक साफ करो इसके लिए एक सिंपल होता है इसमें क्लीन यूज नहीं करते आप ब्लो योर नोज ब्लो योर नोज ब्लो योर नोज ठीक है नेक्स्ट uh, अपने दांत साफ करो क्लीन यू टेड नहीं उसके लिए यूज करते हो आप ब्रश योर टीथ अपने जूते पॉलिश करो पॉलिश योर शूज पॉलिश योर शूज या साइन योर शूज कैमरे में फिल्म डालो हालांकि दीज डेज इट्स नॉट कॉमन प्रैक्टिस टूडे वी हैव डिजिटल कैमरा सो वी डोंट नीड द फिल्म टू लोड बट अर्लियर वी यूज टू लोड the camera that time it is said the load the camera the load the camera in film dal so these days we don't need to load mm. these days you just have to use a uh, upload memory memory, memory memory card memory yeah. memory card use kar lete ho ha तो लोड द कैमरा बोलते हैं लाइक दिस बंदूक में वो डालो बंदूक को लोड करो लोड द गन लोड द गन तो वो भी वही बंदूक में कारतूस डालो सिगरेट जलाओ लाइट द सिगरेट लाइट सिगरेट सिगरेट हो जाओ लाइट ऑफ द सिगरेट लाइट ऑफ नहीं है इसमें पुट पुट आउट 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 पुट आउट द सिगरेट ठीक है हाँ नींबू निचोड़ो Yes, you are right. अभी तौलिया ने छोड़ो ये होता है रिंग आउट रिंग आउट उसको ऐसे करके कोई भी कपड़े को ऐसे निचोड़ो गया तो रिंग आउट बोलते रिंग आउट द टॉवल नल खोलो टैप द नल टैप टैप द वाटर टर्न द टैप ऑन ओके टर्न द टैप ऑन बंद करो तो टर्न द टैप ऑफ नेक्स्ट हम्म अपनी दाढ़ी बनाओ Save your, save your, 
Share yourself. Share yourself. Press Karo. Iron. 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 नहीं Iron. 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 तो फिर लोहा हो जाएगा. Yes. R इसमें silent है. Iron. Iron your clothes. Iron your clothes. Okay. अपनी शर्ट के बटन बंद करो बटन अप योर शर्ट बटन अप तो ये कुछ मीन वर्ड्स वोकेबुलरी भी आपको कुछ नई मींस यू हैव गॉट सम न्यू वोकेबुलरी व्हिच इज वेरी कॉमन लाइक बटन अप योर शर्ट अनबटन योर शर्ट मींस खोल लो अनबटन इफ यू आर फीलिंग हॉट अनबटन योर टॉप मोस्ट बटन ऑफ योर शर्ट तो सबसे ऊपर वाला बटन खोल लो अगर गर्मी लग रही है you are feeling hot unbutton your top most button of your t-shirt or shirt okay hmm. okay next sui me dhaga dalo uh add the needle very good hmm next is is kutte ko yahan se bhagao कीम अवे द डॉग फ्रॉम हियर देखो कोई भी चीज भगाना है किसी भिखारी को भगाना कुत्ते को भगाना इस आदमी को यहां से भगाओ तो ड्राइव द डॉग अवे ड्राइव द डॉग अवे भगाओ भगाओ ड्राइव द डॉग अवे ड्राइव द मैन अवे आदमी को निकालो याद भाव उस आदमी ड्राइव दैट डॉग अभी ड्राइव दैट मैन अभी अच्छा एक होता है वो दीवार में कील लगाते हैं ना उसको भी ड्राइव बोलते हैं ड्राइव दैट नेल इनटू दी वॉल ड्राइव दैट नेल इनटू दी वॉल मतलब दीवार में कील ये कील इस दीवार में लगा दो पौधों को पानी दो गिव वाटर टू द प्लांट नो नो वाटर इज ऑलरेडी अ वर्क वाटर मीन्स वाटर इज अ नाउन पानी वैन इट इज नाउन बट वाटर इज अ वर्क वाटर वर्क वैन इट इज वर्क इट मीन्स पानी देना फसल को या पेड़ों को या पौधों को तो वाटर 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 दी प्लांट्स ओके ओके सो दैट वाज योर ग्रामर पार्ट एंड वी हैव सम न्यू ग्रामर नेक्स्ट लेसन and now we still have 5 minutes so we are going to learn something more okay. so i told you today let's review what we studied today today actually uh, you spoke something about you and so it's your topic also to write this is your homework 20 25 questions you have to write and you have to write your daily routine but please listen to me carefully don't actually suppose you are going to have your class tomorrow at 2 pm or whatever 
then don't try to complete your work just half an hour before the class. It is my advice not to do your homework at 11th hour. You understand the meaning of 11th hour? Yes, uh, because uh, then suddenly we cannot. मतलब जब कुछ काम करने जा रहे हो तभी आप उस काम को करने लगे डोंट डू इट एट इलेवन आर प्लीज टेक योर टाइम एंड डू इट इन एडवांस अदरवाइज यू मीन्स इफ यू डू इट एट इलेवन आर यू आर योर फोकस इज नॉट टू डू बेटर इन दी वर्क योर एम इज टू फिनिश इट फिनिश इट क्विकली बिकॉज यू आर गोइंग टू हैव योर लेसन एंड योर एम शुड बी टू फोकस ऑन दी टॉपिक टू मेक इट बेटर एंड बेटर ओके दैट्स वाई आई डोंट वॉन्ट यू टू मेक इट एट इलेवन आवर Mm-hmm. I am speaking that again and again at eleventh hour. Why? Because you should learn that phrase, idiom. That's why I am repeating at eleventh hour. Don't do it at eleventh hour. I don't want you to do your work at eleventh hour. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is your work okay. okay so now i would like you to review today's lesson as it was your first lesson how do you feel what do you feel let me know do you think we should do some uh, changes to it or i mean whatever your experience is Uh, uh, me it was actually no, it was very good experience for me for that uh, first lesson uh, because uh, I knew that uh, uh, something but you revised me all that thing and uh, because of uh, I forgot everything every that sentence is like that because I don't have someone to. Uh, Uh, practice, uh, speak, practice, practice and speaking like that. I don't yeah. have anyone with me to practice with. Mm-hmm. How you should speak? Because I don't have. Look, he. What is when you speak? That should come from here. Voice should come from here and here, not from tongue. Should come from here. I don't have. That should come. I don't have. I don't have means it should come from here. I don't have anyone with me to practice with. Like this, okay? Hmm. Okay. So you yes. Hmm. 